what do you got for a review? Any any uh anything coming up what? soon or anything you want to talk about? What's up? I don't know if you can see these. There's your Whoa. Cali Cali I N what U N F? Uh I N U N F. I N U N F. Why were you looking to the side, Joe? Because I'm looking at the box over here. That's what I figured. <laughs> it's still in the box. Hey, those are bigger than I thought it would be. Like in the picture, it looks like Get a little lot. tiny. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> but um <laughs> Yeah, no, um, I was actually just measuring them with the the U mic. So you know I was telling you about that dip. So that yes. dip in the anechoic response isn't there when I put them on, on my disc, but the dip moves to the like higher in frequency. So it's the way I measured them. But I don't know how to get around that because if I just put the speaker on the platform by itself, then the bass module is like somewhere way else. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna it's gonna be one of those things where I'm gonna have to throw a caveat in there. But hmm. you know how the you know how people can be. You know people don't read stuff. They're just like look at the picture. Oh, that's terrible, and they won't read that this is due to the way it had to be measured and. Otherwise, it would be flat through there, right? Like I can't get around that. So, huh? So that's tough because you, you want to do the clipple measure measurements, yeah, right? yeah. And so it's a, it's a weird design. It is. Uh, it has like you know, it's, it's like a, I don't know what do you call those? Uh, sub satellite, subset, subset. I guess. Yeah, you like an old school Bose subwoofer and satellite combo. So it's like yeah. You know, so I'm, the integration I'm, I'm, on those is not oh, um, gosh, something yeah. that you could easily measure, right? So, like, I've measured the Bose Acoustamass, mm -hmm. right? The little cubes and then the sub, right? But right. they designed it so they expected you to put that sub somewhere in the corner. Yeah. And the speaker's totally somewhere different, right? Right. So the integration was, it's, like, not fair for me to put them side by side, mm -hmm. right? When I put them on top of each other, it's like, well, they, they didn't design it like that. Right. So I don't know how how you do that because really it, it all depends on like how they designed it. They designed you for you to put that on your desk, mm -hmm. put the other speakers left and right, and then it's kind of like, does it perform there? Right. Yeah. So that's why I'm taking in in room measurements, you know, at the desk and just showing like this is what happens as you push the speakers away. You you get desk bounce, right? Mm -hmm. There's gonna be a, a a dip from the desk itself and a, and a peak somewhere else too. So mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I may shoot them an email and just show them what I found and say like, what do you guys want me to say about this? I normally don't do that, but I'm, I'm more concerned that people are just going to see the data and immediately go, Oh, that's not supposed to be there. And it's like, yeah, but that's because of the measurement method. Like there's no way around that. The only other mm -hmm. thing I could think to do is just take the, the speaker itself and to measure it raw without having the signal. So the amplifier or the base module has the amplifier for the speakers too. So there's speaker outputs coming out of that base module. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if there's any kind of EQ inside that base module. And if I were to measure the raw speaker itself, mm -hmm. then that also is not indicative of the performance of the speaker. So how about this? What, would it be fair if you just measured both of them separately? So you, you do a spin, spin of uh, just the speaker. And it's like, all right, this is what it does. Spin yeah. of the base module or whatever they're calling it right right that by itself right and it's like all right well mentally put those two together and then well i guess so you have some information there i don't know the, the only issue with doing that is i can't if i could turn off the subwoofer then i could do that like i could put the subwoofer like on the floor run the speaker wires up to the clip hole but i don't know what's going to happen when i measure the loudspeaker like because there's going to be subwoofer you know information Right. Wouldn't it be low enough in the, uh, if you uh, get it far away, can, how far can you put it? Right. Would it be far enough away for it to be like, all right, you see, you see the base, but that's because <laughs> that's the sub had to be over here, but like, right. It's low. Yeah. Right. I'd I don't probably know. have to put the sub in another room. Seriously. Wow. Uh, I mean, probably because it has output, you know, 280 Hertz. It's a crossover. So below that, that's the sub. I don't know, man. I'll figure it out. I may just say, all right, well, here's the data. Well, here's you know, the caveat. This did, you know, is is because it's sitting on top of the sub enclosure thing, right? So that creates a, a boundary effect. And oh, but everybody like though. depending on how you set it up, right? Like you can set this thing up any number of ways. You can you can stand the, the base module up. 
and put it against the wall. You can sit it and use it as a platform to put your monitors on. I mean, they show all the different setups that are configurable in yeah. their manual. Uh, so people are going to have all sorts of stuff. What I think is really more important is how well does it take to EQ? And it takes very well to EQ. It has good directivity. Aaron, just so people know what we're talking about even. They're probably like, what are you even saying? Yeah. Boom. Boom. That's what we're talking about. Yeah, right. Yeah, sorry. Ultra near field. Ultra. Yeah. They, yeah, they actually say like in the manual to be arm's length away, which they roughly estimate to be about 0.8 meters away. All right. Yeah. Unless you're Michael Phelps. <laughs> Unless you're Michael Phelps. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or some NBA ball player. <laughs> yeah. Four and a half inch woofers. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess you could. I mean, those are. Is that the wire you use to connect the speaker? Those are the speaker outputs, yeah. So you could you could have it pretty far. Uh, yeah, I'd have to. I didn't know if it was proprietary own. or what. Yeah, I'd have to make yeah. my own. Just run a very long set of speaker cable from one room to the other. So let me see this. You know, I'll, I'll play. But is it worth second. it? That's well, the other thing. Is is it worth the time to do that when I can just say, "Hey, this is this dip right here at four hundred hertz is because of the measurement setup." And you're going to have something similar at a, maybe a different frequency, depending on how you set it up on your desk. Mm -hmm. It's just how it works. Hmm. Well, are you are you curious to see how they measure separately, or you kind of you get it? I am. I am. But because who cares? I, I my yeah. my new stance is like, you know, do whatever is interesting to you first. Well, I've got other stuff that I'm more interested in measuring. That's well, the there it is. Yeah. So That's if that was right my there. only thing in the house right now, then cool. But I've got other stuff that I'm interested in getting done too. So then that's the right answer, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. That's the correct answer because you know, you're gonna do all this stuff and then it's gonna take that one dude to be like, Well, yeah, well I'm like, oh, oh, do you know how much extra time I spent? I didn't even want to do it. <laughs> I want to do this other stuff. Oh, these. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> to yeah. my earrings. So, yeah. Yeah. You know what? I, I think I'm appreciative of the stuff you already do, right? Yes. So you don't owe anybody anything, right? That's true. I don't. Just whatever you, the fact that you have a clipple in your, in your, uh, you know, dining area. My dining room, yeah. That's pretty you should funny. be thankful enough. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny walking in there and seeing that big old thing. That's crazy. Now, if you'd like to join us in the after show, make sure to become a patron. It would be patreon.com slash daily hi fi, and you get to video chat, you know, kind of like this with us after the show. It's pretty awesome. You should check it out. Yeah.